Hey guys, Brian, Mr. SF Studios. So any of you with the 3800 that get these Dorman uh, coolant elbows, or maybe you get them as ZZP, whatever, they're all the same. It's the same. I'm pretty sure Dorman makes them all. Even GM uses them in the AC Delco tensioner repair kits. I guess a lot of people in this community of 3800 people say that these O-rings that come on the supplied aluminum replacement elbows are not the greatest. So they recommend getting the GM, OEM style uh, O-rings and then replacing them before you install it. Otherwise, you're in a world to hurt if it starts leaking again. So it's pretty easy to do. You just take a little tiny screwdriver, pry it out of the thing, and pop in the GM one before you put it together. So here's the, the Dorman O-ring, and here's the GM uh, O-ring. Another thing to do with these is to double check the channel because right along the top part these are two pieces that are fused together or poured in a mold something there's sometimes a little rough seam in the channel so if you have a little mini file it's nice to go in there and just make sure that that's smooth and has no burrs. This one came with a piece of BB or something jammed in it under the o-ring I don't know what that was all about unless some Canadian was having a bad day at work and did it as a joke of course it might not be the Canadian, I don't know where these are made. That's what came in my AC Delco tensioner kit. But you just take your little screwdriver and you just pop off the o-ring. It's not hard to do. Dig it out. Boop. Like that. Shoop. Get her off. Sweet. It's just like a big rubber band. So there's the the ones that come on the aluminum elbow, whether you get it from ZZP or an auto parts store, Dorman, whatever, just look at them. They're not really the greatest O-rings. They're not perfectly round. They're not fat and nice. And then these GM ones are nice and round and plump. So you put those on and you should be good to go. There you go. All better. New GM O-rings on the aftermarket aluminum elbow and these you can just toss in the rubbish because I don't think they were all that great to begin with they look like they're already flattened out and mushed and who knows how long ago this was manufactured either at least when you get the aftermarket uh, well not aftermarket but the GM ones you know they were recently made hopefully it's hard to tell with anything these days but doesn't that look good and it's ready for assembly I'm going to leave it up to you whether you want to put RTV on the outer edge. That's completely up to you. It's a, I mean, it makes sense. It would be a secondary seal. But what you don't want to do is put a bunch in here because what this thing is counting on is jamming up against this wall and flattening out to fill the void and make a tight seal. So you don't want anything blocking it from doing that. O-rings have to be free to move around a little bit to expand and contract as they heat and cool. So you don't want to glue them in per se. But I don't see how a little silicone on the outside would hurt anything. If you wanted to put RTV on the outer edges just to seal the outside when it goes into the motor or the tensioner respectively. Okay, well, hope that helps. Good luck guys. Be well.